Hello everybody, today we've reached the end of our BDSP Wi-Fi series. We're coming close to the end. We have this team builder, this is the last one for Gen 8, and then we will transition into Gen 9 after the set is done. So I thank you for your patience. Please enjoy these last few battles that we have. And I think I have a very spicy team for all for all of you to hold on to, to hold you guys off. Um, so today, our team captains is Yuta and Ice Wave. Yuta the Yanmega and Ice Wave the Reg Ice. So, Yanmega, very scary Pokemon. I'm happy it's back in Gen 8. I'm happy, and I'm not happy that it's not in Gen 9. I really, this is one of my favorite bug types outside of Masquerade. Yanmega is probably my favorite bug type. No, Venomoth is there too. I don't really know who's my favorite. Venomoth, Masquerade, Yanmega. Those are my three favorite bug types. Hands down. Uh, Yan Mega. Here's the stats of Yan Mega. If you don't know Yan Mega, it's the evolution of Gen 2's Yanma. Um, they're both Dragonfly Pokemon. Um, this one hits very hard. As you can see, speed boost plus 95 base speed. It's very fast. It still gets outsped by Ninjas, but it hits very hard thanks to that 116 special attack. Um, Yan Mega is usually used as a lead or late game sweeper, depending on the meta game of course with stealth rocks are running around um the common sets become either sashes or life orbs just to get as much damage as possible or you could always lead like how i'm doing here with yan mega uh so speed boost again speed boost focus sash is not the most defensive thing in the world and a bug bite air slash ancient power protect so protect is to get the guarantee plus one speed and now I have Sash up with my Protect, and I can hit very hard with my very spammable stabs in Bug Buzz and Air Slash. And Ancient Power is for Fire types and Flying types, is to cover all of my weaknesses. Um, Ancient Power, I used to run this as a countermeasure for Zard Y leads. I would get the Protect off, and then spam Ancient Power and knock them out that way. Those were always, that always came in clutch when dealing with Zard Y. For me, I get Zard Y doesn't exist in this game, or it does in a form of regular zard but uh in x and y sun and moon that's how i would run ancient power for those specific zard y setup and bug buzz and air slash are both very spammable moves speed boost again it's just a really good lead it's just a very good lead and then i mean for its abilities too i mean tinted lens is the other one that's probably what you would see in mo i mean of course it'll be second most i mean who runs frisk but tinted lens if you don't know it so moves that resist so steel types resist bug bugs right but because of tinted lens now that bug buzz is going to be hitting for regular damage instead and i think you only get that two times resistance is if you use like bug buzz on a scissor where bug and steel resist bug type so effectively you get the two times resistance out of four times resist Hopefully I explained that quite well, but that's why you run Tinted Lens. That's why Venomoth is going to run Tinted Lens in Gen 9. Because that is just how good the ability is. You can you can even, for Gen 9 reference, Low Kicks is another one. Because um, Bug type moves are very spammable. Dark type moves are very spammable. Uh, fighting type moves are very spammable. Very offensive Pokemon tend to run Tinted Lens. I don't know who else gets Tinted Lens, to be honest with you. But Yan Mega and Venomoth and Low Kicks for Gen 9 certainly come to mind. Next, our other team captain is Ice Wave, the Reg Ice. So in this game, of course, you can catch the Regis, but they don't have clear body. They come with their HAs only. So that's why I'm running Ice Body instead of Clear Body. If not, I couldn't get this Pokemon. Um, in terms of move set, so it's a very off. It's a very off move set here. Uh, as you can see, we're trying to make use of the bulk as much as possible in the high special attack stat. We're running Rock Polish because at plus 2, even if you can get to plus 3, you're probably outspeeding the whole game. You have Substitute to give yourself better bulk to increase those chances of getting Rock Polishes off. And you have Bulk Beam coverage in the form of Ice Beam and Charge Beam. So Charge Beam specifically here is to raise your special attack plus 1 with a 70% chance. If a base 100 at plus 1, okay, that's going to hurt really badly, especially off a of stab ice beam. 
And because it's 70%, your chance of getting the plus 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever, it goes through the roof. And so if we can get a very fast red dice with plus 3 special attack, I'm pretty sure you sweep with a red dice. So I really want to try to get that sweep off with this one today. Or today, this set. Of, yeah, I, I my favorite Reggie's Reggie Steel, to be honest with you. But I'm very open to using this kind of Reggie Steel. Blue, of course, will make the will be on the final team here. Blue, always a crowd favorite, always one of my best Pokemon's, to be honest. Earth Power Ice Beam recovers Scald with the bold nature. You guys know, you guys all know Blue very well at this point. Of course, this is the last time you'll see it in this. Uh, configuration because there's no Scald. Um, Scald has been replaced with Chilling Water effectively and Scald is a Volcanion exclusive move even though it has Steam Eruption that does the same exact thing. I don't know, Game Freak, what you on? What are you smoking? Um, yeah, that's Blue, who's gonna be here doing the thing, as always. Next we have Corbin the Luxray, the Guts Luxray. Um, it wouldn't be a Gen 4 game with, or a Gen 4 game without seeing Luxray. Yeah, I said that right. Protect, Guts, Flame Orb, that's the normal set. And you have Facade, a Wild Charge, and Ice Fang for that electric ice coverage to hit very hard. Um, coming at a plus one with 120 attack, that's going to hit very hard. Luxray isn't the fastest thing though, so we will be relying it as an end game sweeper, probably mid game, trying to pull the game back if we are in a losing situation. It's also a status absorber, as I can send this out on Scarf Rodents attempting to Will-O-Wisp. Or even if they trick, I mean, they get burned, and now I'm a Scarf Guts Luxray, so... Technically speaking, if I get burned and the plus one speed, then Luxray just becomes scarier. Yeah, of course, Luxray did make an appearance in Gen 8 under the DLCs. Um, but this is probably the last time you'll see Lux... Unless Luxray is in Scarlet and Violet, I don't remember. This might be the last time you see Luxray for now, but if not, I do have a secondary defensive set I wanted to share, but I feel like Blue was too good of a wall to pass up on. So hopefully Gen 9, um, Gen 9 we can see the return of a defensive Luxray. Next we have Samehata, again it would not be a Pokemon game, it would not be a Gen 4 finale without Garchomp, of course the pseudo of the game. Yeah, we're running Scarf Chomp today with the naive nature, so it could be an anti-lead in its own right. Fire Blast will knock out Tangled and Skarm. Um, the armies wouldn't appreciate taking Earthquakes and Dragon Claw. I mean, this is a Scarf Chomp. 102 speed. Wow, so it only outspeeds Pidgeot by one. It just moves. Um, Iron Head for Fairies. Yeah, just an all-around great Pokemon. There's no... I'm not running Swords Dance. I know you see it. It's right here. And I'm not running Swords Dance. I feel like Scarf Chomp will be the best one to have. Um, especially because we already have a set of Mon and Corbin anyway. So I figured Scarf Chomp would be better use of getting as much damage as possible to get the end game wins with Ice Wave or Yuta or heck even Corbin. And last but certainly not least... Titania is back. Uh, Titania, this is a specially defensive one that I ran in the... Don't remind me. I want to say it's the Lavrina set. I want to say it's that one. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know I ran it recently. No, it's the Kecleon one. The Kecleon one. So this Titania, our defensive Titania is back. Same exact spread as last time. Will-O-Wisp, Moonblast, Psychic Wish. Wish to get the heals off, heal my team. Uh, Will-O-Wisp to make ourselves even bulkier. And then Moonblast and Psychic are both very great spammable moves. And Trace is, of course, very good. I know Synchronize is right there to reflect the status. So if I get poison, I poison by Umbreon and I can reflect the poison onto them. But Trace, I mean, you've seen it in the other time. If you can imagine us getting a multi-scale Gardevoir. One, that's going to help with longevity, but two, that sounds very intimidating. Speaking of intimidating, this can also reflect Intimidates as well from Gyaradoses and Grand Bulls. So, a lot going for it with Trace instead of Synchronize, but I don't think you can go wrong either way. Uh, yeah, Defensive Gardevoir, I know Gardevoir is back in Gen 9, so we will definitely use Gardevoir again. 
I don't know in this format because I know Wish is crippled in Gen 9. But we'll see. We'll see. With that being said, that's the last team builder. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy the battles coming up with this last set because this is a banger of a set. And yeah, the time of this recording, this is January 2nd. So I'm probably going to record the commentary for the battles pretty soon. With that being said, that's the end of the BDSP team builders. Again, they're all in the playlist. So if you want to look at this back again, and or if you're ever curious of a moveset to run as an example, and you trust me, run these movesets. I mean, they're quite reliable. Uh, I tested them, and I'm pretty sure the battle, the battles in the sets uh, speak for themselves, whether they are successful or not. These are also found on Smogon. Some are also Smogon related, but kind of take my own spin on it, see if it comes out better. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this last team builder. I hope you enjoyed the last few battles coming up ahead. I can't wait to start Gen 9 Wi-Fi. It seems very chaotic right now, so I'm hoping to jump in on it as soon as I can. With that being said, I hope you have a great day.